Local Weather Authority. Welcome back and good afternoon. We are taking a look at South 3rd Street in Terre Haute on the Graber Post Building's camera. Clouds are increasing throughout the afternoon as we do have some precipitation on the way. So this is a current look at our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Off to the southwest, those showers and storms moving on in, going to clip the southwestern areas of the valley near Effingham. Throughout the afternoon, of course, we do have more precipitation. Quite scattered, moving on in. So for the current temp right now, we are at 85 degrees in Terre Haute. Our winds are pretty calm right now at six miles per hour. Throughout the afternoon, though, those winds will be picking up as some counties will be near 20 miles per hour, even more tomorrow as they will hit near 25. Now, as we take a look at our almanac, well, that record high, 107 in 1980. A big difference as our record low, 55 degrees in 1967. Early this morning, we were at 69 in Terre Haute, so quite the difference when it it does appear with our record lows. Now for precipitation, well, we are at a zero for here at the station. No rain has hit, nothing truly measurable, but we do have some scattered activity on the way from Tropical Depression Barry as that low pressure system moves on in. So for the current temps right now, we are in the lower to mid 80s for the most of us. 83 in Champaign, 85 in Paris. Highs throughout the afternoon, the upper 80s. Our current heat index quite like our local temps. Not too bad this afternoon. Feeling like 90 in Paris. Nothing though compared to what we did feel last week. Although at the end of this week our heat index definitely going to increase. Now as we take a look at our satellite radar, this is over the last six hours. As you can see further down south, that low pressure system moving up from Tropical Depression Barry from the Gulf Coast. It is moving on in, impacting us with scattered showers and storms throughout the next couple of days. Days, but tapering off once we do hit Wednesday. Now as we zoom on in, again you can see the precipitation off to our southwest. We will have some spotty showers and storms throughout the afternoon. Tomorrow though we do have more scattered activity as well as Wednesday. Although for tomorrow, rainfall appearing to be more heavy compared to today. So we are going to have more scattered precipitation once we do hit tomorrow. This image around 323, quite scattered across different portions of the valley. You will want that umbrella handy as you are very likely to run into some type of shower at some point tomorrow as well as those thunderstorms. This is clearing out though once we do hit around Thursday. We do have a slight chance of a few pop-up showers but the end of the week looking quite dry, but very hot as our heat index is increasing. Now, this is a look at the rainfall over the next 48 hours. What we can expect out in Greencastle, over two inches of precipitation. And for today, well, our highs, we are in the upper 80s at 86. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then for tonight, our lows in the lower 70s. Again, more scattered tomorrow. Those highs, the lower 80s. Check out the heat up. At the end of the week, we are going to be in the mid to upper 90s. That heat index Thursday through Saturday actually near 110. Wow. For quite a few of us and a few actually reaching over 110. And so it could feel like these are the hottest days we've had so far at the end of the Exactly, week. Okay. yeah, because a few of us actually going to feel over 110. So it is definitely going to be a hot end to the week. All right, and speaking of hot, today though, if you're out and about, you want to get yourself a milkshake. I'm working the Sullivan County Fairs. They have a milkshake machine for $1. You get a chocolate shake. It Go almost, see Dana. Yes, it's all for scholarship money. So I'm there from 6 to 8 tonight. You want to stop by. Say hello. And then also, well, speaking of weather, the threat 